President Obama, of course, announced some new steps he's going to be taking in terms of scientific uh, investment and, and research in his State of the Union. And one of those projects is the new Brain Activity Mapping Project. He's going to uh, invest hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars over yeah. the course of time. It's in, already set to get $300 million a year right now, and scientists are hoping that it's, it's significantly more than that. And that's the, well, that's the former uh, brain mapping project, mm -hmm. right, that we have going. Right. Barack Obama and the White House has kind of informally announced through the National Health Institute on Twitter that it's going to be a new project, mm -hmm. the Brain Activity mm -hmm. Mapping Project. And uh, the, the, the important thing to note about this is that scientific investment right. is just, it's the biggest bang it pays. for the buck. It pays. It, the Human Genome Mapping Project, which was begun in 1990, uh, the government has invested $3.8 billion in that uh, over the course of those 20 or so years since that project was announced. And it has returned $800 billion to the economy. So he said this in the State of the Union. It's like over 100 to 1 uh, for every dollar invested. You get a $100 return or more than that. Every dollar we invested to map the human genome returned $140 to our economy. And the, it looks like the same thing can happen with the brain. This could help us figure out, you know, disease, degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and Parkinson's. How we deal with addiction. All kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And so this is excellent news. And this is just another sign that President Obama is a scientific president.